All right, time to check in with Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks, Steve. Good, good to hear. Uh, we're talking about C-SPAN, of course, and uh, we've seen the, the rebuilding of our ship industry here in BC and hit a bit of a snag yesterday. Well, it's actually, uh, they have a new contract going on with Ottawa. Ottawa just announced that uh, they will be spending another $65 million on investments going on at uh, C-SPAN. Uh, there's going to be a contract with uh, the Royal Canadian Navy for these joint support vessels. That's worth $35 million. And with regards to the Coast Guards, uh, the, uh, uh, the federal government is putting another $30 million towards the uh, construction of a science vessel. So this is all part of the national shipbuilding strategy that the former Conservative government put into place. Uh, the goal here is to spend about $2 billion over the course of 30 years. Now, uh, the government is saying right now this will generate about 15,000 jobs. This is across all of Canada, not just uh, Vancouver specifically. The reason why economists say that this is significant, though, is because if you look at a lot of the reports coming from uh, the Conference Board of Canada, uh, Bank of Montreal, that point to British Columbia leading the way when it comes to the economy compared with all the other Canadian provinces, mm -hmm. they're pointing to big, big uh, projects such as what's going on in C-SPAN and all the investment that Ottawa is putting towards it. So I would definitely keep an eye on what's going on here because the important thing is that the Royal Canadian contract it's just $35 million at the very moment. It's expected to grow even further in the coming years as they get closer to the construction and finalization of more and more ships. All right. And we're talking about some uh, Vancouver tech startups as well and whether or not they should have an initial public offering. Yeah, there's been a lot of speculation over uh, tech startups like Vision Critical, uh, Hootsuite, of course, about whether they're going to go public uh, sometime in 2016. Now, uh, the head of Canadian listings at the New York Stock Exchange, uh, he explains uh, that, you know, rule of thumb is generally when commodity markets are down investors turn to the knowledge-based economy but 2016 it's just looking too vo volatile that this rule may not be followed so much and then a lot of companies are going to be hesitant about going public the reason being uh, just volatility in the markets in China remember we started this year off with uh, they actually suspended trading over in Shanghai there's also concerns about the uncertainty over oil prices. Uh, even yesterday, we saw a big dip in the price of oil because of Iran uh, not wanting to commit to any sort of cut in production. Mm -hmm. This is just creating too much uncertainty among uh, investors when it comes to the resource-based economy. They're not even willing right now to even look and uh, invest more in, say, tech startups, which is kind of surprising, but I would not expect to see any big announcements coming this year. All right, Tyler, thank you very much. If you want some more details from Tyler, go to BIV.com. Have a good one, Tyler. See you tomorrow.